Do you want to play Rust with good FPS but you don't want the game to look like total shit? Well in today's video I'll go over my own personal settings in Rust and other ways to give you more FPS. While the second clip only has a small increase in FPS compared to the first one, this is because the settings are turned up a bit and because my computer is pretty good. So if you have a mid and lower end PC, you'll definitely see larger FPS increases than I did. So let's get started. So starting off in the Windows settings, you just want to search up power settings. You just want to come down to additional power settings and yours will come on balance. So you either want to choose AMD Ryzen higher performance or just higher performance. So this setting favors performance, but it uses more electricity. Next, you just want to search up game mode. And this just allows Windows to optimize your PC for games. So just turn this on. You then want to go to graphic settings. You want to turn this one on. Click browse. You want to select the drive in which uh, Rust is installed. Go to your Steam library, Steam apps, common, then Rust. And then you want to just click on this one here, Rust. And this will be the largest uh, size file. Click add. You then want to click options and click high performance and then click save. And then for this, you will just need to restart your PC. And this setting just reduces latency and improves overall performance. You just want to search up the Xbox. And then click on the enable Xbox game bar. And you want to make sure that this is off. So normally it will be on. Just turn it off. You just want to search up location and privacy settings. And then just make sure all of this is off. Now if you've got a dual monitor like me. And you're really stretching for FPS. Just search up monitor. Or mon. Click on display. And then just click show only on one. So next just go control alt delete. And uh, click on your task manager. And then you just want to click start up and then you just want to disable anything that isn't useful so i've got katana disabled um this uh file helper disabled microsoft edge microsoft onedrive and you get the point just anything like this phone link that's just not useful when you start up just turn it all off as these will be just apps running in the background when you're gaming and um yeah it'll just be taking up sort of uh your CPU and uh, things like that. So just turn it off. Moving on to the NVIDIA control panel. You just want to right click your desktop. And then click NVIDIA control panel. So once this pops up. You just want to go to adjust image settings with preview. And then you just want to click use my preference. And then just click performance. And then click apply. After that hit manage 3D settings. You just want to scroll down to power management mode and then just click this and click prefer maximum performance. You also want to go to texture filtering quality and click high performance as well. Now there is other settings in here in which you can change. However, these are the only two I like to change. Moving on to program settings. You either want to just click the down arrow and click on rust client.exe or you just want to click add and find it. So coming down here, just click CUDA GPUs and then click on your graphics card. Okay. Open GL rendering, just select your graphics card. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Texture quality, our performance. And then the rest really is just up to you. Like I said, these ones are the ones that I like to change. However, you can definitely go into more if you want to. And then just click apply. So coming down to adjust desktop color settings. With this option, you just want to turn up your digital vibrance. And this just makes your game more vibrant. And it looks gives it more sort of a brighter and better look. So just use these reference images. And then just turn it up to what you think is best. Anywhere from around 60 to 80% is pretty good. So originally you could click Alt F3 from the NVIDIA GeForce and this will bring up the NVIDIA uh, support filters. However, they actually have removed it as um, it actually helps you see better at night. So that's why they removed it. 
These photos taken are from my phone because digital vibrance only affects the monitor's display and it cannot be recorded with any recording software such as OBS. The photos are pretty shit quality but they show 50%, 75 and 100% digital vibrance and remember that this does not affect FPS whatsoever. So just play with the settings and work out what percentage is best for you. So moving on onto Steam and Discord, you just want to go into your Discord settings. Go down to game overlay and turn this one off. Next, just go into your Steam settings. So just go friends, settings, and then you just want to turn this one here off. Turn this one onto small, and then that's it. Go to your Steam library, right click Rust, go to properties, and then in launch options, you just want to basically fill out what you got. So looking from the task manager, I've got here 12 cores and 12 logical processors. So I'm going to put down here core count 12, threads 24. My rate here is 144 hertz monitor. I've got 32 gigs of RAM. And then you just want to copy this and paste this one in here. Coming down, just turn the enable the Steam overlay off. And then this one here, just click disable Steam input. And then that's it. All right, so going over the Rust settings for options, you just want to have field of view up to max. Head bob off. Hurt flash off. And then basically the rest is pretty much optional up to you. And then with nudity, just put it on underwear and max gib zero. User interface, it's up to you. Same with audio controls. And then for the screen, you just want to have it set to um, 1920 by 1080. So that's 1080p. Any lower, um, it'll kind of make your game look pretty shitty. Um, for mode, you want exclusive, borderless, you can do, but it might lower your FPS by a few. Have everything else turned off and FPS limit just set to, I'd say, whatever is your max. So mine's about 200. And then for the graphic settings, just basically turn everything off. Render scale up to max and draw distance up to 1.5K. And then NVIDIA reflex mode, that's optional. And then basically everything on zero. So this will be for the absolute, if you've got the worst computer in the world. Image effects completely off. Experimental completely off. Optimized loading, just put it on partial. I would uh, go graphic settings 4. I would not go any higher, as any higher will greatly decrease your FPS, but it won't make the game look too much better. I would then put your draw distance anywhere up to, I would say, 2000 max. So we'll just put it there. Shader level, I would put to 300. Grass displacement. I would put that on as you can see guns easier when you're walking over grass and then down in mesh quality particles put to 10 object 96 tree quality 98 max tree mesh is 50 terrain quality 10 grass quality 50 and then decor quality, I would just leave it zero. And then for image effects, anti-aliasing, you can turn this on, optional, and sharpen is optional as well. So with the lower settings as well, you can turn on sharpen as well, as it has no performance hit. Now for these next settings, I would only recommend them if you've got a high-end PC, and if your computer can handle medium settings pretty well, and you want to bump it up to make it look a bit better. So these settings I'm about to show you is what I use personally, and these are settings I got from Posty and a mix of my own as well. So shadow quality, I like it on one, cascades on two, water quality one, water reflections completely optional, shader level, I just turn it up a little bit to 350, draw distance max, coming down to mesh quality, particle quality on 47, object quality the same. 96, tree quality the same, 98, max tree meshes the same, 50, terrain quality, I like that on 50, grass quality max, and then decor quality, 
I have that on 44. And with image effects, the same as before. Anti-aliasing, optional. Sharpen, completely optional. Experimental, exact same. That's the end of this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully you can get an FPS increase and make your rust look a little bit better with these settings. Please don't forget as well to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below if this video has helped you in any sort of way. Cheers.